welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a Q&A for you guys. I wanted to do a Q&A because I haven't done one in such a long time. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me some questions about some stuff, so I figured why not give you the chance to ask me and I mention it in a Q&A. So I asked you guys last night to ask me some questions that you guys may want answered and for a chance to be featured on my channel. So I'm super excited to answer these questions. So I do have one really awesome and amazing announcement for you guys. If you guys do not follow me on Instagram or Snapchat or Twitter or basically any of my other social media besides YouTube, then you probably would not have known this yet. On Saturday, May 7th, um, Mason graduated from college and I'm so incredibly proud of him and it was such an amazing day and it was just so awesome to see him walk the stage and to be proud of him and everything like that. But later that night we went to dinner with my family and he actually proposed to me. So I am engaged or we're engaged and I'm super excited to announce that on my channel. We've been together for four years and I'm so incredibly excited and just overwhelmed and filled with so much joy and happiness. And you guys were so supportive on my Instagram and everything like that, as well as my friends and family. Um, you guys just left me amazing words. You guys snapped me so many videos and tweeted me and everything like that. And I just am so thankful for you guys. And I just, I'm just so happy. So yeah, I have not announced that here on YouTube yet, but here it is. And I'm super, super, super excited for the years to come. So, you guys, I'm just filled with so much happiness and the past two weeks have been super overwhelming and just in a good way, like an overwhelming good way. So many great things were happening and I just, I can't even begin to tell you how excited I am for this. I wanted to address this before because there are a lot of questions about this engagement and I just thought that that would be the first thing I, you know, addressed because I know you guys are going to be seeing this a lot and it's different from my other two rings. Um, Mason has given me a couple of promise rings throughout our four years and I get questions all the time asking me if I'm engaged or anything like that. But um, those are just promise rings and this is the real deal so I'm super, super excited. Got quite a few questions asking us uh, or asking me when I thought we planned to get married and where. Um, definitely planning to get married in California because that's where all of our families are and everything like that and where I live it's just more convenient. So I don't know when we're going to get married. And I don't know when I'm going to start planning or anything like that. Um, I still have one more year of school left and um, it's my final year. I don't want to rush into it. I want it to be awesome and I want it to be something that, you know, I look forward to and I'm not stressed about at the same time. So I don't know when yet. We haven't really sat down and talked about it. I know I'll get a lot of questions. So my first question is where do you find your inspiration? A lot of the times I will find like go through my makeup collection and find items that I haven't used in a really long time and then you know try to come up with something creative in that aspect. Um, other than that I find a lot of my inspiration from Pinterest believe it or not. Um, I'm obsessed with Pinterest and I like to go on there and I'll look at home decor and stuff like that and sometimes I get inspired from just looking at like color palettes and stuff so like if I'm looking at home decor if there's grays and stuff I'll take that color and I will put it into a look. Um, my next question is has there ever been a time where you didn't feel motivated to do your YouTube videos? If so what helped you get past it? I find myself to get into this like funk a lot. I try to push myself and I try to get inspired by either looking at magazines or you know online or anything like that and I try to inspire myself and I feel like that motivates me to want to do something and on top of that um, I kind of get motivation off of other people's success and I want to be successful just as much as the next person. This question comes from Beauty by Ruby and she says what advice would you give to a person who's just starting their own beauty channel? I think my number one one advice that we give to anybody like I'm talking to anybody whether you have you know a hundred subscribers or if you have 60,000 or if even if you have like a million subscribers is to not compare yourself to others I know I have a really big 
issue with doing that and I compare either my videos or my work or just myself to other people and it's super discouraging. Do it because you love it. Do it because it's something that you want to do like fun whether you're trying to do it for a hobby or you're trying to do it for a job. Um, it doesn't matter. Do not compare yourself to other people. You want to be your own person so you don't want to you know imitate someone else. You don't want to be that other person. You want to be you and be genuine. Um, so all I can say is honestly don't don't compare yourself, be genuine, and do it because you love it. So my next question is, have you ever been to Washington State? If so, where did you go? Um, I've never been to Washington State, but I've heard it is absolutely beautiful and I want to visit there someday. I'm definitely going to put that on my bucket list because I want to do a lot of traveling and I want to visit other places. M. Rodriguez said, what is your favorite color? My favorite color... Hmm, my favorite color used to be like lime green, like everything was lime green, but now, I don't know. I don't really have like a favorite color. I guess like an aqua blue color would be my favorite if I had to choose like a color, but if we're being honest, black is my go-to. Some people don't consider black to be a color, but I think it is. Annalicia's Addiction said, how important is makeup to you? What is your most favorite makeup item you own? But makeup is pretty important to me. I mean, I own a lot of it and it's pretty expensive, so it's worth a lot of money. Um, so I definitely take care of it. It's pretty important, but I definitely don't think that it's like the most important thing in my life. I mean, it's obviously important because it's something that I love to do and I would love to work in this industry for a really long time, but you know, stuff happens. Favorite, my most favorite item that I own? Hmm, my first... I don't know. That's a really hard question. I don't know if I have like a favorite makeup item. I have a tool that I love. Um, my favorite makeup tool is my beauty blenders, of course, but like I don't think that I have like a favorite makeup item that I own. My next question is, what are your you and your fiance's degrees in and are you moving after college? My degree is in education. I want to be either an elementary or a middle school teacher. Mason's degree is in general studies. His is a pretty like broad you know degree but he can do a lot of things with it if he wants to. And then are we moving after college? Yes we're gonna move back to California. I don't know where. I don't I think we're gonna go back to California for a little bit and then we might figure out what we want to do from there. My next question is, what is your all-time favorite foundation? My favorite foundation that I go to all the time is definitely my Makeup Forever Ultra HD or the regular HD foundation. Both of those foundations have been my favorite and I talk about them all the time because I just love the way they lay on the face. I love the way they photograph and everything like that so definitely my favorite foundation. My next question is is all time favorite facial mask and foundation. I just answered the favorite foundation uh, question, but my all time favorite facial mask. If you guys watch me on Snapchat, you guys will know that I try foundation, like, no, I try facial mask all the time. Like, I'm always looking for a good one. Um, I wish I had it with me, but I love the Freeman's mask, which you can find them at, like, Walmart or, you know, Ulta and stuff like that. I love the Freeman's mask. I've also really been loving the Yes to Tomatoes charcoal mask. That has been so incredibly great. So, both of those are on the same level right now, so I definitely would choose those. So, Exo Shell said, advice how to get your makeup work noticed. I definitely would say to post consistently and use the heck out of hashtags. I wish I was consistent with Instagram because I just I don't know. Sometimes I'm in the picture taking mood and sometimes I'm not. Um, if you're consistent with your makeup hauls and you post all your details and you use hashtags like very popular hashtags you'll definitely get noticed. So the next question is if you had to choose all your makeup or your cat what would you choose? Um, first of all that is probably the toughest question I've ever been asked. I love makeup, love cats. So I'm gonna have to say I would probably choose my cats because fur babies for life. My next question is, if you had the opportunity to collab with any makeup brand, who would you choose and what would be your choice of product? Oh, that is such a tough question. I think I would collab, if I had the opportunity, I would want to collab with Makeup Forever. One of my favorite higher end brands and I just love Makeup Forever products. Like I don't think I've found a Makeup Forever product that I didn't 
like. It would be my choice product. Ooh, okay, so everybody does makeup palettes, so I mean, I obviously would want to do makeup palette, but if I had something else, I think I would probably do either um, highlight or like bronzers. Um, I think it'd be cool to come out with a different range of bronzers and highlighters or like a contour kit, like highlight and bronzing. I think that'd be awesome. So this uh, question says, what do you think is missing in the makeup industry? I think this is such a good question. I, wow, this is such a great question. I think something that is missing in the makeup industry is from a personal like point of view and from, you know, watching YouTube videos and seeing how Instagram has grown with makeup artists and all that stuff. I definitely think the lack of originality and the lack of uh, genuine people is lacking in the makeup industry. I don't even think it's like techniques. I don't think about makeup. I don't think anything like that. There's a lot of people who lack genuine, honest, you know, qualities and it sucks because there's a lot of you know people out there who look up to these higher you know makeup artists and higher Instagram famous or whatever you want to call it people are they really as genuine as they seem on camera or as they seem like you know on in pictures and stuff like that and I just think that it sucks because there's a lot of people and I'm talking a lot of people who are absolutely rude like so incredibly rude when you meet them in person and it sucks because you look up to those people and you just you don't see the same person I also think it's lacking originality because I've seen a ton a ton of YouTube beauty people still other people's looks or videos and it's like where's your original content like why are you not putting out stuff that you thought of instead of taking someone else's idea or someone else's makeup look. My next question is, when are you coming back to Cali? Um, currently, if you didn't notice, <laughs> I am back in California for the summer, and um, the, which is why I have this nice plain black, black white wall behind me. Um, I am in a new space. So um, I'm back in California for the summer, um, but I will be officially coming back next summer. Alright guys, so that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys should definitely let me know if you guys want me to do more Q&A videos like this. I'm super excited that I got to do this and I loved all of your guys' questions. You guys have some awesome questions like really awesome questions i hope you guys enjoyed the video definitely give it a huge thumbs up if you guys did don't forget to leave me a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe if you guys have not already and i will see you guys in my next video bye